Tommy, you know what? What's going on, Andre? The open top off-road war is on in full swing more than ever. Yeah, it's really heating up because the two heavyweights in that class, the Bronco and the Wrangler, are in full-fledged battle mode. Yes, and this news um, is basically uh, that Jeep is introducing a new package on the Wrangler, and it's called Extreme Recon. Wow, what a name. Now, for those that don't know, the Ford Bronco was launched in 1966. They sold it all the way up through 1995, I think. Yep. And then it went away. And ever since then, the Wrangler has had the open top four wheel drive market to itself. So throughout the late 90s and the early 2000s and the 2010s, it had really no competition, direct competition at least. And now Ford has relaunched the 2021 Bronco aiming squarely at the Jeep. And then um, Bronco also, or Ford also announced that the Bronco Sasquatch package is going to be this, you know, very capable off-road package with 35-inch tall tires from the factory, suspension lift, and really, really good numbers like approach and departure angles and water fording and ground clearance and all this stuff. And what does uh, Jeep do? Well, that's what we're going to find out today, because if you look at Ford's response, in a lot of ways, they took the Jeep numbers and they just made them a little bit better. So every number was just a little bit better than the top of the uh, heap Wrangler Rubicon. So now we've got a new model from Jeep, and its numbers appear to be just a little bit better than the top of the line factory Bronco. So, uh, yes, so this Extreme Recon package has now from the factory for Jeep a 35 inch tall tire. Okay. Um, exact same specification. It's a 315-70R17. So it's 34.4 inches. Exactly. And it's the same measurement as the Ford tire. Both of them call them 35s. Okay, okay. interesting. They're 34.4 inch diameters. Um, although Jeep is using BFG, BF Goodrich KO2s. Interesting. Uh, and Bro Ford does not. The Bronco Sasquatch package comes with a Goodyear Territory MT. MT is what's called a max traction tire, maximum traction. Or some people refer to it as a mud terrain. So before this new piece of breaking news, the biggest tire you could get on a Rubicon was somewhere around 33 inches, just under yes. 33 inches. Yes. So now Jeep has decided to match the Broncos playbook by offering 35s from the factory. Exactly. So they gave this Extreme Recon Jeep a one and a half inch suspension lift. Interesting. From the factory? From the factory. Or is this uh, a dealer installed? Uh, no, it's part of this package. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, like you said, uh, and we can put a spreadsheet on the, on the board right now, uh, but they have basically battered the approach angle. The new approach angle on the Jeep Extreme Recon is 47.4, which is about three better than... Uh, or four degrees better than the Ford. Breakover is about 0.4 of a degree better. The departure angle is about 3.4 degrees better. And ground clearance, listen to this dude. Ground clearance on the Jeep Extreme Recon is 12.9 inches. Jeez, that's crazy from the factory. I remember when I first got into the Jeep world, I had a YJ, which is the first-gen Wrangler, and it was like a really big deal to put 33-inch tall tires on your yep. YJ. You had to lift it like four inches, and yes. it was a whole pickle. And yes. now Jeep is offering that from the factory along with Ford. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, Jeep owners and enthusiasts have been asking for this for how many years? Oh, geez. I mean, uh, <laughs> forever. See, this is why competition is good, right? It's yeah. pushed Jeep to do some really kind of interesting stuff here. Yeah, so the ground clearance now on this recon package is better than the Sasquatch package from the Bronco. And water fording is 0.1 inches more. 0.1 of an inch. So it was... <laughs> So the Ford had 33.5 max, right? Yes. So is the Jeep now 33.6? Yes. All right, so I love that. So when you're that. crossing water <laughs> next time, uh, Tommy, uh, get out, measure one-tenth of an inch, <laughs> and you can cross that. So all of this that we've mentioned are factory options, right? So in the past, like... People would accessorize their Jeeps with 35s, very common. From Mopar, in from, fact. From Mopar, yeah. You yes. could get like a 2-inch Mopar lift yes. and then 30, 35s you could add. You but could. that was all at the dealer or, or after you, you purchased it. But now this new Extreme Thunder, what's it called? Extreme Recon. This Extreme Recon is being offered directly from the factory. Extreme Thunder would have been a good name. Yeah, but you know, Recon name, Jeep has used it before. Yeah, there were uh, of Recon versions of the Wrangler. JK. Yeah, which was like a slightly beefed up Rubicon. Yeah, and I think it also had a, or maybe, you know, there was also a GL Recon, according to some sources. So is there a, um, 
a visual identification to, to tell you other than like the lift and the tires? Well, this, um, so dude, the biggest news um, is that uh, the Extreme Recon package is only available on the Rubicon and also the Rubicon 392. So you can only um, get it on the Rubicon and 392. Interesting. Okay. Exactly. Which is not really, you know, Ford is doing the Sasquatch package, their most off-road worthy package on all trims. So what you're saying is I could go buy like a base Bronco and then click that Sasquatch box and get the yes. 35s and the lockers and all that. Yes. Whereas on the Wrangler, I have to get the Rubicon trim and then I can add on top of the Rubicon trim this, this extreme recon. This bigger tire suspension yeah. package. Yeah. What and about axles? What's the axle ratio? So the axle ratio in this Jeep package is a 456 to 1, which Ooh. is pretty aggressive. So the, the current Wrangler is what, 410s? Yes. Okay. Um, so they in made it, you know, lower geared. And the Ford Bronco Sasquatch gearing is a 4.7. Okay. Uh, but um, we don't know the pricing on this Extreme Recon package. Interesting. Um, so it could be quite pricey, especially with the 392, which is already over 70 grand, right? Right. If you're adding more to it, then you could be even in the higher price range. Uh, we do know the pricing for the Sasquatch package. It starts at 7385 for the base model. And, and that's on top of the price of the Bronco, right? Correct. Okay. So you buy a base Bronco and you add this $7,000 package to it for the Sasquatch. Or if you move on through the ranks of the Bronco, it can be less, right? If you're buying like a, uh, a uh, Outer Banks version or a Badlands version, the price of the Sasquatch package is lower. Interesting. Okay. So it depends. What do you think that this will cost, the Extreme Thunder? You mean recon? Extreme recon. Sorry, uh, what do you think? These so, I don't know, dude. So, what would you pay? You know, if you walked into the uh, Jeep dealership, and what would you? What would be okay? Uh, of I, I would say three to four grand, maybe. I think that would make sense. Sorry, we've got our puppy Blaze. He's poking around the studio now, checking out what's going on. He's very excited about the news as well. So, if you were to do this on your own, you'd have to get like the Mopar two-inch lift, which is. Close to two grand. Yeah, and so, then tires. Yeah, tires. Does this have a different wheel? It has a different wheel. It has a beadlock capable wheel. Okay, yeah, so um, I'd expect this to be around four, four to five, maybe? Three to four thousand. Okay. Seem, well, yeah, but then tires, 35 inch tall tires are very expensive, so maybe yeah. four to five. Yes. Blaze is making Blaze. a lot of noise. So, dude, uh, this Jeep Wrangler Extreme Recon package will start production in August of this year. Of course, Ford Bronco production already started. Well, it's ish. Yes, ish. <laughs> and then, uh, so this is extreme recon news. Then Jeep just dropped another little thing. Okay, what's that? Uh, they said um, they're going to offer a separate option for the Rubicon Jeep Wrangler to offer a 4.88 axle. 4.88 to 1. Whoa, 488s from yes, the factory? From the factory for 100 to 1 total crawl ratio with a six speed manual. Oh, 100 to yeah. 1. 100 to 1. So you can pull stumps, you can move <laughs> logs, you could go slow. Uh, and this is better than 94.75 to 1 with a seven speed manual on the Bronco. Well, so that's going to be great if you want to put like 40s on your Jeep. You yes, know, it and would. the aftermarket 488s, that's nuts. So, Andre, can you get this vehicle in a two-door configuration, or is it four-door only? With this package? Yeah. It's four-door only. So, four-door unlimited, JL unlimited four-door uh, Wrangler, or the 392 Rubicon, which is only four-door. Okay. So, no two-door. But in the Ford Bronco, you can get a two-door Sasquatch. Interesting. Yeah. So, so you, you can get the Sasquatch on both the two and the four, but uh, if you want the Extreme Recon, only four-door. Yeah, on the Jeep. So, oh, okay. so I think Ford, what Ford is doing here with the Bronco, they're offering more choice, I would say. Um, pretty uh, easy modification from the factory. And Jeep is offering better numbers, better capability in theory. We haven't driven it yet. But they're offering only on their top trims. And we don't know the price yet. Interesting. Well, that's good to know, Andre. Yep. So there you have it, guys. Go back to tfloffroad.com. Yep. Right. We have all the uh, numbers there yep. in the spreadsheet, so you can. Um, and then let us know what you think. Is Pretty cool. Jeep, yeah. Is Jeep? Do you think this will sell, or is Ford? Does Ford offer something better? I, I mean, I, I just love to see this rivalry. I think it's really exciting to watch. I love that Ford came out with something, and then Jeep is now punching back with something a little stronger, and we'll see uh, what the uh, response is from Ford, then Jeep, and then Ford, and then Jeep, and then maybe Toyota and Nissan, and yeah. it's a great time to be in the industry. Yeah, totally, because Ford Bronco Raptor, quote-unquote, 
or the Ford Bronco Warthog is in is rumored, right? Yeah, we'll have to wait and see what they do. All right. So as always, uh, you can find us here on YouTube or tflaffro.com. And even Blaze.